G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a two-shot Cryolator, a weapon that probably shouldn't exist in Fallout 76, but due to the asset flippery that is this game, it's here for the fun, so why not just accept it and just move on? So anyways, a couple of things have changed about this weapon since I last looked at it, and a couple of things have stayed the same. See, look at this, look at this ammo thing, that, that's a fusion cell in there. It's yellow, it's a fusion cell, and not only that, um, it's backwards. That's like the head of it. That's the thing that you plug in. It's it's literally backwards. Okay, moving on from that. So two shot legendary effect. We've got the crystallizing barrel on it, which compared to the normal flamey type barrel of this thing, it fires explosive snowballs. Yes, I said explosive snowballs. That'll come in handy a little bit later on when we get to actually specking this thing up. We've also got some glow sights and a standard stock. I'm not too worried about recoil control. Um, the recoil compensating stock will reduce the recoil, but it'll reduce this uh, this little bar here of what I call weapon condition, and probably you call that that as well. But anyways, we're going to be using this with our heavy weapons gal, so let's go ahead and spec this up. So 72 and 36 damage, ballistic and energy respectively, which is pretty damn good, but that can go a lot better. Observe. So, heavy gunner, heavy gunner, and would you believe heavy gunner? There it is. And a little bit of bloody mess on top of that. There she is. And there we go. 132 and 66 uh, energy damage. Uh, 66 energy damage. Ballistic is 132. Wow, I fucked that up. Anyways, that's pretty good, right? But like I said before, this thing fires explosive snowballs, which is a thing. It used to do that in Fallout 4, so I, I'll totally accept that. So we're equipping Demo Expert on it actually increases our damage even more. So it feels like we're onto a good thing. So yeah, we'll get to crafting the ammo because, you know, that's changed. Equipping ammo smith and agility super duper in luck you can greatly increase your yield of ammo when you craft like a 30 percent chance sorry i'm a duper it, it happens about 30 percent of the time though so it's unreliable okay so our cryo cells we're now making 45 of those crystal lead and steel is what you need we can get one of those okay thanks thanks game I appreciate that. You know, that's more than we would have got with one single round of that crafting, you know, earlier. Also, yeah, cryo cells. Notice how it's blue, right? So the thing should be blue, but there's like fusion cells. Are they yellow? Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're seeing it now. Alrighty, so here we are outside of West Tech, Mudi's Plaza, and that's what we look like in third person, just some close sights. They're not going to help us all that much, but looking at this thing in third person looks nice in the power armor. We've got stabilized on, also the frost is so cold that it actually glows in the dark, isn't that nice? So, yep, having a look at this thing's accuracy with a two-shot legendary effect, along with, um... You know, stabilize, it's actually pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up. We're, in, we're almost in danger already. Fuck it, let's just charge in and see what we can do with this, eh? Hmm. Okay, so he is frozen, but I feel like I'm not getting as much damage as it was letting on before. Even with those criticals. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere now, I think. Maybe those criticals are exactly what we need, but... Man, this thing used to do heaps more back in Fallout 4. I don't know what's wrong with this. Another thing that I'm kind of worried about with this weapon is its uh, condition, because I was using it a little bit before just to test how it works, and honestly, I wasn't impressed by its durability, which is going to be a problem. Okay, at least I can kill a goddamn doggo. I'm almost dead already. I have to pop a stem back there. Okay, this is off to a pretty shitful start here. I expected a lot more out of a 2 damage thing, or a 200 damage thing. Oh god, it's done that fucking bug where it aims down sights. So that's another bug that's been in the game since a while. So, you know, a little bit annoyed about that. Alright, we'll go ahead and keep on shooting him. See if we can pass this first section here. Maybe, um, Nerd Rage would be good now. We can, you know, stop using this stabilized perk for more accuracy and just get more damage outright. Maybe that's the way to do it, but at least our power armor is keeping us alive. And maybe we can get rid of one gun army for serendipity, use this thing like a bloodied weapon, because honestly, we're going to need every single point of damage we can get out of this. Okay, apparently this thing and the broadside are our best friends, because I'm seeing the same sort of thing here. Oh, it's just so weird. Also, what is this? What the hell am I looking at? What the hell is that? Is that a bit of meat just floating around? Okay, apparently Satan is hungry. He's trying to l rob the super mutants of meat. Anyways, so, damage at 60%. Let's find our cryo later. And we're almost for 
through our first uh, bar already. So you know what? I'm going to get out of my power armor because I don't think that accuracy bonus is helping me at all. And get my perk chart out. Pull stabilize, replace with gunsmith at rank 3. So now she's got a little bit more life in her. We're going to be a little bit more squishy. Just got to make sure that I hit the stim packs. And you know what? Might as well do this just to make sure. Also, don't forget to unequip and re-equip the weapon because getting out of power armor does break the reload speed perks for heavy guns. So make sure that's a thing that you do. And actually, one other thing. Since I'm out outside of power armor, action girl, don't need that. I'm going to go over to covert operative and we're going stealth slinging, stealth snowballing. No sneak attack criticals were awarded on this day. Notice how I'm in caution. Oh no, it's a broadsider. It's a fucking broadsider. Oh, fucking hell. You know, it's bad enough that you ruin the broadsider. That was a great fun weapon to use in Fallout 76. But then you go ahead and fuck the Crylade with the Crystallizing Barrel too. Oh no. Okay, well... Regardless of how I finish this off, I don't think you want to see me go inside and, you know, kill all the super mutants on the inside. Sure, I'm going to go inside for a few legendaries, see what I get, but I won't be using this thing and I won't be recording because, yeah. The utility value of this weapon, however, is slowing things down. It happens, sort of, a lot of the time. Not that much, but enough to make it usable against something like the My uh, Milo Queen. No, you don't need that for Milo Queens. Scorch Beast Queen and that big old robot that you call the Big Furry Robot. You know the one I'm talking about. What the fuck is that? Okay, I think a lot of this weapon's badness can be attributed to... <laughs> that's a context-sensitive void drum, at least. A lot of this weapon's badness can be attributed to the net code because I don't feel like the shots are connecting like they should. Question is, can I kill myself with this? No. You know, back in Fallout 4... There you go. So there is a little bit of splash damage with it, so... <laughs> okay, lesson learned. The crystallizing barrel fucking sucks. Case closed on that. Alrighty, so with some T-posing fucking vertebrates, a couple of changes been made to my two-shot cryo later. So, no one that crystallizing barrel anymore, just the standard one, so we're going to be spitting out flamethrowers. Ooh, T-posing things all around. And the builds change, so Nerd Rage, um, Gunsmith, and yeah, basically that. I'm being attacked by fucking Stealth Boy Ghouls. Good. Well, there's one at least. Yeah, that's basically what it does, and fuck me. This has just been all hell in a handbath. I couldn't have fucking done anything about that because those fucking vertebrates aggroed all the invisible fucking ghouls. Alright. We're just going to roll with the punches. Oh my god, that was the fastest... What? They can jump? Or is that just the game catching up to the hits that I've taken? Okay, looks like we've got a couple of these ones down here now. I can blow up cars with it. With... You know, super coldness. You can blow up cars with it. Well, it looks like this is much more effective as a weapon. So that's nice. We've even got a three-star legendary ghoul. That must have been the one who was leading the stealth attack. If I could fucking shoot him, that'd be good. Tell you that. Cop that, you fucking bastard. Ooh. I bet that's like a bloodied swing speed as well. And it's under-leveled. Hopefully, you'll make up for it. Yikes. No, it's just a standard 40. Okay, well... Well, hit me up. Also, your boy got an anti-armor handmade too. Hit me up if you want that. Um, Nerd Rage should be about on right now, shouldn't it? Yes, it is. So we get even more damage. <laughs> yes! My sneak attack criticals are working. And no, you didn't notice a voice crack. I didn't do that. Ah, ah yes. More lead for the farm, please. No, that's just fake lead. That's not real lead. Oh my god. You know, someone pointed out to me that, you know, all, all my builds are stealth. Well, you can see why right here. I couldn't get this thing to work any other way. I'm just re res just reverting back to these dumb stealth tactics. And there you go. I'm dropping these guys in a little of three to four. Jesus, they're wall clipping now. These ghouls are pulling all the bloody tactics in the book. Luckily, Vats can counter that shit, right? But yes, <laughs> we've gone back to stealth. And we've made a two-shot cryolator work. Bloody hell. See, if it didn't fucking broadsider itself before, I would have been using the crystallizing barrel here, firing snowballs at these fuckers. But no! 
This thing has to be a fucking piece of shit, doesn't it? Keep thinking these disease ones are legendaries. Also, I'm missing out on a bunch of ghoul spawns because um, some dude come through here and, you know, disintegrated a lot of them. So, yeah, that's that's basically what's going to happen. But uh, we've got the manager at least. We can kill him. Look at that. Escape artist pops instantly and then we can do that. So, and with that, this thing shouldn't be as in bad shape. Yeah, I've only, I've, I've barely made a dint. Actually, I've made a significant dint in there condition bar of this thing but as you can tell that's so much better than it was before when it just it's a little bit higher on the old ammo consumption that's about it so i'm gonna repair all my crap and yeah i'm gonna gonna take these ghouls again Alrighty, so after many server hops later do we have a spawn <gasps> we do okay Look around, no players. I think we're good to go. As long as we can finish these ghouls off before Mock Turtle shows up, I'll think I'll be fine. So, I've got a little bit of salt prepared for this segment because I have had a fucking gutful, a fucking gutful of All Rise today. You know why? Because on two occasions, I've been directly interrupted by players A in power armor. One of them was in mismatched X01 power armor. The other one was obviously Minecraft power armor. Both of them were using the scrub hammer, all rise. So from this point, henceforth, Captain Noob is at war with the all rise hammer. If I catch you using that, that's it for you, buddy. So I'm calling it now. If you use All Rise, you are a scrub. You are a noob. Get yourself a better weapon. Also, if you'd like to dispute this or would like to uh, tell me all about it, well, be sure to accompany me at the KFC car park. I'm sure we can talk things over there. So as you can tell, I'm just slaughtering all of these ghoulies with a little bit of stealth cryolation. So, you know, that works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with what this thing can do when amped up with stealth. So it appears that, you know, going back to how I should sort of started, how I still play. Okay, we're definitely in danger now. I'm just going to back off a little bit. Get them all through here. Okay, we're back into caution. Hopefully we can uh, freeze a few more times. And also ice puns. Let's see. Ice to see you. What else is there? Um... I, I don't know. That's all I got. <laughs> Fill in the blanks there. I'm not a Mr. Freeze. That's a bloodied guitar sword. Nice. That's a drop right there. Yeah, keep on hitting me. You know, you'll only get me even stronger when you do that. Like, there's a thing called adrenal reaction, you see, ghoulies. And every time I lose a little bit of health to an extent, I get more damage. So, congratulations, you've stitched yourself up there. Anyways, looks like there is but one ghoul remaining. That is the manager, of course. He is a rotting feral ghoul, so he was the only one there. So, you know, good on him for that. He's going places these days. Fucking, did anyone see that one? Anyone get his number plate? We've got a speeder here. I think that was a Wendigo. No, it was a, it was a fucking, it was a, it was a, I was about to say a horse, but no, they're quite different. It is a deer, in fact. Alright, you'll probably notice how I've got less than a thousand rounds now, and yep, I've wiped about half of that uh, second health bar of cryolator um, condition away, but I'm finally super happy that I've got myself, <laughs> well, a little bit of venting from that nonsense that I had to deal with. I didn't, I recorded it, but it's not going to make it into the video. I, I say some pretty explosive things. Also, the thing is spinning. Look at that. And the, then the pipes are moving too. There's a lot of, this gun actually kind of feels alive for what it is, so that's good. Also, it's not covered in frost anymore. Interesting. But yep, they have it against a ghoul. Actually, a good run, so yeah. We'll continue, we'll take Swan out and see how we do there. Alright, I think I have noted that Cryolators don't really work against big old bosses, but we're sure as hell gonna try anyway. I'm gonna open up Vats and Crit Spam him, just to see. <laughs> oh, oh, it's doing the thing where it... Ah, wait, it does work, because it, it slows him down. Okay, well that's nice then. Um, hopefully we'll have enough Cryo Cells to actually, you know kill him. Let's use some concentrated fire here. Hit him in the noggin. Freeze that brain of his. Chill out, swan. Ha! <laughs> There's another one. Um, what else could I say? Um, 
Uh, nah. Still got nothing. I have to let him come naturally. I can't force him out, you know. Look how slow he is. Let's go through. Let's see if he can go through your attack. Nah. He can still, you know, dance pretty quickly, but... Wow, you actually... You're legit gonna break the laws of physics, aren't you? Well, I'm glad that you snapped out of it at the end there, but, uh... What have we got down there? Is that a big old queen nuke? That's in a shit spot, no thanks. Also, those guys are right outside the Milux. Guess I'm switching servers again. Okay, time to test this thing on the Krabbies. Also, yeah, again, don't forget to switch weapons after rejoining because, oh my god, my perk was disabled for a second there. That's nice. So what are you shooting at, by the way? Ah, a couple of these guys are scorched, so... Not only am I killing crabs, I'm actually p participating in the Great Crab Civil War. Aha, uh -huh. and uh, I'm also doing shit damage against these guys. You know, uh, this thing should stop them right in their tracks, though. Not enough for me to actually sidestep their bullets. Now I've got fucking rattle hands, great. I'd rather have rattlehead, because then I'd be like a Megadeth thing, because... Shit, wrong thing, doesn't matter. At least I'm not hooked on anything, that's the main thing, right? Alright, that dickhead's dead, so if you- Oh my god! Oh, I, I, I'm afraid I can't take on that queen. That is a T-posing- That's a T-posing my lurk queen. I don't think we can compete with that kind of power. <laughs> okay, okay, we're back. Oh, now you decide to pop out. You know, you kind of gave yourself away there, Crab. So, um, the surprise is not really there. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I was, I was... I had a feeling that this sort of shit would go down. Oh, shit, Stimpak, please. That's the stuff. And lo and behold, we've got T-posing massive fucking crabs. <laughs> and you've exploded. Yeah, because physics, I guess. I'll pinch that lever action rifle off you. I'm flogging that to a vendor. Okay, so just kind of like normal melee weapon procedure, what's going to happen here is I'm going to knock the uh, bat out of the sky with Enforcer using this shotgun of mine, and then we'll proceed to uh, the opposite of, uh, we'll, we'll cook it, except with like icy coldness, kind of like freezer burn or something. Surely that's going to knock out both your wings now. Okay, one wing's down. We're still in caution somehow. Power of suppressors, friends. Power of suppressor. I've also got serendipity on because I ain't, I wasn't gonna do shit with, <laughs> um, you know, one gun army. So I don't even think that works for this. But whatever, we'll keep on going. Still in caution. Still getting the sneak attack criticals. That's all that matters. Oi, get back here, mate. Get here. Look at me. Look me in the eye when I kill you. Oh. There we go, there's the sneak attack criticals we need. Why is it hitting so much harder now? I wasn't doing that before. What the hell? That's so strange. It's actually making the hit marker noise. See, it doesn't make the hit marker noise against you blokes. What? I don't even know. Oh, you're breaking the laws of physics in your death animation. I'm sorry we didn't get to watch that dramatic um, little send-off there. I'm sure you'll be fine. See, notice how when I hit these guys, there's no massive blood splatters, but if I uh, hit the qu the bats with it, it sort of makes an effect like a blitz hit. That's really weird. I don't know why it does that. Alrighty, so conclusion time. You've probably been waiting for this, right? Uh, it's shit, honestly. So, here's, we'll just break it down. I don't like it, but here's why. So, with this build and this setup, it appears that this is the most effective way to run this thing because, I don't know, the, the snowball machine version of this is fucking broken. Uh, that's a fusion cell still. <laughs> not even the action model has this. It's not a preview transform bug. But regardless of that, you do limit your range very, very, um... Like, a lot. You do limit your range, which means you're basically in melee range when using this thing. So, note this thing's damage right here. 130. It's not too bad, sure, but why would I want to use something at close range that does 130 using up ammo? You're, so, you're using up supplies to maintain this thing's ammo supply and the weapon itself. That's pretty costly. Or you could just use something like, I don't know, this stabby boy and get better damage at the cost of slightly worse range. But, 
You're gonna need a bit of steel, rubber, and adhesive to repair this bad boy. And unperked, we're getting better damage out of it. Sure, it's a different legendary prefix, but still, I reckon just a regular old knife unspecked would be more effective as a weapon than a two-shot cryolator. So honestly, these things, they need to be buffed. We're getting... Okay, that's obviously adrenaline factoring in that damage, but yeah. And also, I'm almost out of cryo cells already. Fortunately, you know, with the ammo changes, if I, you know, bothered to farm for the crystals, go to Tanagua Town to actually get those. You gotta go inside the tree of many crickets. It's just here. And you just pick it up off the floor. If you've got it yourself, a uh, scrubby suit of Minecraft power armor, what you can do is you can get more out of the yields and then get acid from any fucking bears and cook up the crystals, turn that into crystallizing bullets or cr cryolator bullets, actually. Or cells. You know what I'm talking about. Also, I'd put the thing away and then brought out again and the frost is there. Okay, some weird bugs are associated with this weapon. In conclusion, it's shit though, so I wouldn't bother with any cryolators unless you've got a god roll. Maybe bloodied. Maybe a legacy roll of this is still good, but you know, legacy weapons are broken and probably might be removed. Although that's speculation though. I've got no base on that, so probably probably not actually. Thank you for watching, guys.